So I'd like to do a follow-up on the discussion of the vagal nuclei that are listed here, which I discussed in a prior video. I've mentioned Stephen Porges because he's the king of the vagus nerve, polyvagal theory. Many of you know that reference. I'll put it up over here. What does he mean by dorsal and ventral vagus nerve? Folks get confused about this. Dorsal and ventral are adjectives describing uh, relative positions in space that we use in anatomy. So the dorsum is kind of the backside of the whole body. The ventrum or the ventral aspect is the front side. So if ever we're talking uh, and in terms of relationships, spatial relationships in the body, something that's dorsal is towards the back and something that's ventral is towards the front. So dorsal and ventral vagus nerve, does that mean we have a vagus nerve running down our back and another one running down in the front? That's not what it means. <laughs> so dorsal and ventral vagus nerve is actually referencing the relative positions of the vagal nuclei on the medulla oblongata. Well, that's a mouthful. Let's make it more simple. Porges references most particularly these two nuclei, the dorsal motor vagal nucleus and the nucleus ambiguous in his discussion of his polyvagal theory. Now, here we have the dorsal motor vagal nucleus and the nucleus ambiguous. This is drawn on a flat thing, so you can't tell which one is forward relative to the other. That's why I'm so grateful that my friend Sue Hitzman gave me this <laughs> wonderful melt roller here. Melt roller. Thank you, Sue. Shout out to Sue Hitzman. Um, on which I have drawn <laughs> the nuclei of the vagus nerve on this. It looks like a medulla oblongata to me. So we're looking at it from behind. So here's my head and here's my medulla oblongata. That's what we have a picture of here. And if you get close, can you see this is rounded? Now, I couldn't do that on the flat board. So here's our dorsal uh, motor nucleus of the vagus nerve here and here. And here's our nucleus ambiguous. Now, can you see that the dorsal motor nucleus is the most dorsal or the most furthest back on the, on the medulla oblongata? And that if we move ventrally in the, in the forward direction, from the dorsal motor nucleus, we move towards the nucleus ambiguous on both sides. So relatively speaking, in terms of their relative position, the nucleus ambiguous is more forward or ventral <laughs> as compared to the dorsal motor nucleus. So because the nucleus ambiguous is more ventral than the dorsal motor nucleus, we say this would be the, ve the ventral vagal supply, right? So in Porges' uh, schematization of the vagus nerve complex, we have one, uh, dorsal motor, dorsal motor, and we'll call that, how do you spell motor? Two O's. I almost put an E there. Dorsal motor and number two, let's do it in red. Number two is the nucleus ambiguous. The nucleus ambiguous, ambiguous, two U's, ambiguous. So this is going to be our dorsal. <laughs> that matches, right? That's easy. And this is going to be our ventral vagus nerve. So that's all he meant by it, uh, was simply to identify and schematize the poly or many uh, aspects of the vagus nerve and its distributions and its origins based on their relative position in the medulla oblongata. So if you're thinking dorsal vagus nerve, you're just thinking about those nerve fibers 
originating in the dorsal motor nuclei here and here. And if you're thinking ventral vagus, you're thinking about the nerve fibers originating here and here in the nucleus ambiguous. Got it? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.